Um, just a general comment for everyone. You take away your addiction, you will definitely at some point feel the emotion. Now, you know how cigarette smoking is an addiction? If you take away the addiction of cigarette smoking, in other words, you stop cigarette smoking, what will happen is you'll feel the reasons why you started it in the first place. Now, a lot of people in that situation take up eating lollies or eating chocolate, because that, that satisfies that addiction, right? This is why sometimes, or eating food, because this is why sometimes people who give up the addiction of cigarette smoking start getting larger when they were nice and slim all their life, because they're just swapping one addiction for the other. If you actually get rid of the addiction and feel your emotion, and I'm talking now not just about physical addictions like cigarette smoking, but actual emotional addictions, things that you're emotionally addicted to, if you give that up, and just allow yourself to feel your emotion, you will rapidly get into some causal emotion. It would be a very, very good way to access causal emotion. Hey Jay, is that why some people give up smoking and then they say, look, I never had a cold for 20 years and now I'm sick all the time? Yep. And um, colds are usually, colds and flus affect the chest area, obviously. And usually the chest area is a, is a deep cause of really a broken love feeling inside of a person. One reason why um, people who smoke get lung cancers is a heavy suppression of chest-based, or, or if you think of it, heart chakra-based emotions, which are all based around love, the giving of love and the receiving of love. So yes, a person who gives up smoking will often get colds after that because the emotion of being unloved is starting to get triggered in them, but they're still trying to deny it. Before they could deny it with a smoke, now they can't deny it, so, so now there's a physical symptom. And that will continue to occur until they start allowing the grief to occur. And so there's a lot of tie-up between physical addictions and emotional addictions and then the underlying emotion that we're trying to wrap in cotton wool and avoid.